Hello there. My name is Minister Barton Aaron Porter, and today we're going to continue our study of the great book of Jonah with the third chapter. Now, I'm going to be using the good old King James Version of the Bible as I always do. So I encourage you to get your Bibles out and to study along with me. In our last Bible study, we learned in the second chapter of Jonah that confession of sin always brings God's mercy. So with that, we're going to dive straight into this third chapter of the great book of Jonah with the very first verse. It says, And the word of the Lord came unto Jonah the second time, saying, verse 2, Arise, go unto Nineveh, that great city, and preach unto it the preaching that I bid thee. So God says, go down there and do what I told you to do the first time. Verse 3, so Jonah arose and went unto Nineveh according to the word of the Lord. Now Nineveh was an exceeding great city of three days' journey. That's verse 3. Verse 4 says, And Jonah began to enter into the city a day's journey, and he cried and said, Yet forty days, and Nineveh shall be overthrown. So when he got there, he went in and he told the people, and 40 days, this city is going to be destroyed. Verse 5. So the people of Nineveh believed God and proclaimed the fast and put on sackcloth from the greatest of them even to the least of them. Uh, verse 6. For the word came unto the king of Nineveh, and he arose from his throne, and he, and he laid his robe from him, and covered him with sackcloth and sat in ashes. Now, this was the custom of the people who were living in ancient time when they were showing humility and repentance toward God. They would put on a certain cloth called sackcloth and they would scatter ashes on their head. Uh, verse 7 says, And he, that's the king of Nineveh, who put, put, put aside his uh, robe, and he put on sackcloth too and scattered ashes. And he caused it to be proclaimed and published through Nineveh by the decree of the king and his nobles, saying, Let neither man nor beast, herd nor flock, taste anything. Let them not feed nor drink water. So it was a food and water fast. Verse 8. But let man and beast be, let man and beast be covered with sackcloth and cry mightily unto God. Yea, which means yes. Let them turn every one from his evil way and from the violence that is in their hands. So the king made it a law that everybody better fast and, and, and repent. <laughs> he said, you better. So they, they took heed to what the prophet told them. Verse 9. The king said, who can tell if God will turn and repent and turn away from his fierce anger that we perish not. So here is a whole nation taking heed to the call. And so there's a lesson there for us. We don't know how someone's going to respond to the gospel. When the Lord tells us to go tell somebody, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life, we need to just tell them exactly what the Lord tells us to do. It is not our job to convert anybody. It is our job just to preach the gospel to every creature, okay? And so Jonah went down there. He said to the people what God told him to say, and God had touched all their hearts to receive it. And the whole city of Nineveh repented. Verse 10 says, and God saw their works, that they turned from their evil way. You see that? And God repented of the evil that he had said that he would do unto them, and he did it not. Now that word repenteth, when we look it up in the Strong's Concordance, it means properly to sigh, that is, breathe strongly, 
by implication to be sorry, okay? That, that is in a favorable sense or to pity or console or reflectively rule. So God even repents. Repentance means to have a change of mind. And so when they repented of their evil ways, the Lord repented of the judgment that he was going to bring upon them. So the main point of this third chapter is repentance always brings God's forgiveness. And so repentance is not just a change of the way you think, but it's a change of your actions, you know, to go along with what you're claiming you're, you're repenting of. So if you could say, I repent, Father, all you want. If God doesn't see you stop doing whatever it is you're doing, then you really haven't repented. Very important. That's why the prophet Isaiah was moved by the Holy Spirit to write in Isaiah 55, 6, and 7. He wrote, Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. 7. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts and let him return unto the Lord and he will have mercy upon him and to our God for he will abundantly pardon. So it's very important that you and I make sure we share the gospel of Jesus Christ that God wants to save everybody. And if they repent and accept Jesus as their Savior, he will save them, okay? That's why I love the Bible, because the Bible gives us what we need to understand about the character of God. And so even the Old Testament books are very beneficial to us who are living today. That's why Paul wrote in 1 Corinthians 10, 11, Now all these things happen unto them for in samples, which means examples. And they are written for our admonition, which means warning, upon whom the ends of the world are come. So don't ever think any part of the Holy Bible is useless. No, it's all inspired by God, and we can learn something from every part of it, okay? Paul also wrote in Romans 15, verse 4, For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning, that we through patience and comforts of the of the scriptures might have hope. You see that? So the main point of this third chapter, again, is repentance always brings God's forgiveness. Now, if this particular Bible study has been a blessing to you, I encourage you to go to patreon.com slash Barton underscore Porter and make a financial pledge to support this ministry of whatever you can afford. Okay, whatever God puts upon your heart, make that financial pledge, because if you do, you will be a tremendous blessing to this minister and his ministry. And you will be helping me to continue to produce these Bible studies and spread, spreading the true teachings of Almighty God all throughout the world. So until next time, this is Minister Barton Aaron Porter saying. May the good Lord continue to bless you and keep you all the days of your life. And be sure not to miss the next Bible study when we go into the fourth and final chapter of this great book of Jonah. God bless you and goodbye.